Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at what might be the craziest travel trailer that I have ever seen in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Palomino Solaire model 320TSBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things I love about this unit and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again guys. This might be hands down the craziest travel trailer that I've ever seen, especially for a bunkhouse. Super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. This is our last video here at the Kyle slash Austin Explore USA. Yes. We are not leaving quite yet. Yeah, um, we're headed to more. Buddha. We are. Yeah. Um, to check out some great units there. But first, I am excited to take a look at this. This is probably one of the biggest travel trailers in the market heck yeah man so. and they did so many things right they did if if i had a family and i was looking for a travel trailer this would be a contender hands down for sure let's begin will model is 320 bh the actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 36 feet three inches the dry weight is 8457 pounds and will we didn't get the tongue weight. Oh no, <laughs> it's gonna be heavy. And the tongue weight is 1,085 pounds. Wow. And well, that's not even including the secret option that we'll show you in just a few moments. Okay. So you definitely wanna make sure you have at least 1,200 pounds weight distribution box. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack here from Lippert. Propane tanks go here, and all batteries go there. And then look at this beautiful fiberglass front cap. Looks great. This is the full cap, which I absolutely love. So the difference is this actually wraps, I call this the wrap cap. This wraps around to the side, so the side fiberglass is actually there, and it's just so so much less likely to leak. And this does have the car, the um, look Linex. There. Yes, the bed liner material, which yeah. is very, very nice. Right here, we do have electric stabilizing jacks from Lippert. I love that, and then Will. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's crazy. That is a combo washer That's dryer. That's stackable. No way. Holy smokes. That is a stackable washer dryer in a freaking travel trailer, Will. Yep. A freaking amazing, and no, that's not a standard, that's an option. So you guys have to add that to your tongue weight as well. I think guys, they're like two or 300 pounds. This so. is not a half ton towable travel trailer. Right. You need a three quarter ton. Right over here, we do have a very nice, huge power awning with LED lights, I love that. Frameless windows throughout this whole travel trailer. Well, this is the craziest travel trailer I've ever seen. Yeah. Very nice solid steps. Don't tell me they're hydro. Okay. If they're a hydraulic assist, I was gonna die. But uh, really nice solid steps right there. Nice grab handle and everything. Moving on down. Look at these tires. Well, they're the Castle Rocks. I love those. ST225-75R15 with the Dexter axles. Water heaters here, speakers here. Power hookup and uh, TV hookup for the outside and everything. And then check this out. Huge full-side kitchen. Hot point refrigerator, which is the best name for a fridge I've ever heard. This, look at this, it's coming with like, uh, hey, mambo, mambo italiano. <laughs> Very, I actually like how it's coming with it. Yeah. Because it's the perfect size. You got a sink that's plumbed through. Storage here, storage here. Oh, that's why. Induction cooktop, and it comes with the pans. Yeah. Very nice. Coming around the back. Oh, dang, that. Well, no ladder to get up on the roof. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. We do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. 250 pound hitch, vertical weight. You cannot tow behind it. And then, Will, spare tire, spare tire carrier. Cool. It's a castle rock. And then, Will, here's what makes it crazy as well. Look at these slides. All right. Slides like the whole way. Listen, guys, I don't even know where you dumped the tank. Right. I know it's going to be a horrible It's right here. Spot. Is it? That's I think one so. dump. Horrible. So, so you definitely want to hook that up before putting slides out. I don't think it's a want to, Will. I think it's more of a have to. Yeah. 
Cause like I might be able to get in there. No, I can't even get in. No. But if somebody might be able to get in, but they definitely can't get out. <laughs> cool. And then um. Uh, oh, great tank number two. Yep. And then look, they, they're doing that same with the side solar panel, uh, 50 amp service. Again, this is actually better, but it still, is. I you mean, could do that, but right. Here's a uh, little bit of storage on the king size bed slide out, and then this water hookups very nice just like uh just like a freaking fifth wheel okay very very nice will and hey the outside of this trailer is crazy but the inside's crazier let's go take a look all right <sighs> all right starting up front oh, yes. is the bedroom yes in the middle is your living area, dining area, and kitchen. Towards the back on one side is the bathroom. And then all the way in the back is that nice big bunk room. Where are we starting today? Well, do you know the average age of our viewer? Um, 50s, right? It's the paying customer. Oh, yeah. Not the 12 and 13 year olds, so they're gonna have to wait. Okay. We're not showing the back room. This unit is for the people that have bunk beds, the people that need bunk beds, but they're the paying customers. That's right. Check out this front. Will, I can't emphasize this enough. When you need a bunkhouse travel trailer or fifth wheel, it sucks for the actual person paying for that unit. It's so it's a small bedroom, a tight bedroom, the north to south bed, you gotta go like this, yeah. you gotta get changed like that, that sucks. Oh, wait, first, Big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Lippert. This week is National Volunteer Week. As Lippert brand ambassadors, we are encouraging everyone to do their part in volunteering their community. The Lippert Cares Initiative truly believes that business can be a force for good. Lippert gives back over 100,000 volunteer hours per year. This week, we are volunteering at Sea Island Habitat for Humanity. We hope everyone can join by giving back to their community. If you do, please use hashtag Lippert Cares so we can see all the amazing work that you're doing. Thank you so much to Lippert for sponsoring this video and doing good for the community. Let's continue the video. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but the bedrooms always, <laughs> we got to say hi to Lippert. <laughs> But the bedrooms always suck, you know what I'm saying, Will? Right, right. And uh, in this unit, it has a king size bed that's a slide out. Freaking absolutely amazing. Will, I feel like I'm in a fifth wheel. Windows on both ends, nice headboard, a little place for you to store some stuff up there, and cabinets above that. Let's see if there's storage underneath. Wow. There sure is. And not a little bit too. That's a lot. Yeah. Now again, guys, I gotta emphasize this. What you're storing in here is adding to that tongue weight. Yes. You gotta be super careful about this unit. Right over here, we do got dresser drawers, solid surface countertops. Okay. Well, what the heck's going on? It's a stackable washer and dryer. That's what's going on. Only in America, man. I love that. That's crazy. That is crazy. And then right over here, Will. And the fact that they ordered it from the factory that way surprises me. Right. This is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely, positively crazy right there. Nice wardrobe space. Um, I will say. Yeah. That's the devil right there. Yeah. Like you drop something. I guess I could get to it. But if you had shorter arms than me, it'd, it'd be hard to get to. Very, very nice. And then there is a side door right here for privacy for the master bedroom. And again, okay. Will, what I was saying before we said hi to Lippert, when you get, when, you, when you're a family and you're getting a travel show like this, the, the paying customers have to sacrifice yeah. for the kids. This way the kids are able to get a great space, but you're also able to get a great space. That's right. Right over here, Will, look at this huge entertainment center. Transparent windows right here. Nice Sansui television. Storage right there. Storage here. Fireplace right there. Uh, Furion DVD player. Very nice. And then over here, oh my gosh. Daytime shades wow. and privacy shades. Just like a fifth wheel. Okay. 
nice theater seats right here. I don't know how I feel about these theater seats. Here's why. One, I'm kicking my legs up. Yeah. And I have a bad TV angle. Yep. But two, this is also a bunkhouse unit, so more than two people are going to want to see. Right. That third seat would have just been a kid that's not complaining. Right. You know? Cup holders there, remote holders here and everything. Very nice. And then right down there, Sir William, is a dinette. We do have storage underneath the dinette, number okay. one. Okay. Storage underneath the dinette, number two. Okay. And then I was about to say, I don't like how there's not a window here. But again, the slide out's all the way out, so you wouldn't right, even see right. anything anyway. Uh, okay table, decent. Drops Gets down to make a bed. Done. Gets the job done, exactly. You got the little lights right here, windows. You know, really, really nice. And, um, yeah, I didn't even mention the light under the fireplace right there. Yeah. And what is nice about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Will! Would you like to show us the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder, we are now partnered with RV retailers, so we can help you nationwide. If you see this unit or any other unit you're interested in, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, click one of the three tabs, and Matt and I and our team will be happy to help. Love it. Cool, we'll start right over here with this GE refrigerator. So one thing I noticed is it doesn't have a pantry, but this could definitely be like multi-purpose space. Okay. Over there, um, probably use that as a pantry, at least partially. Um, nice Magic Chef microwave right there, the little one. Magic Chef. Greystone range hood here. Um, nice backsplash. Not real, but looks nice still. Three burner Greystone cooktop with the blue lights there. Ooh. Ooh. And oven down below. A little bit of storage here. Very nice. CST monitoring system. Because Palomino is a vision off Forest River. That's right. Here as well. Great big uh, backslash there, window right here. Solid surface countertops. Nice single bowl sink right here. And with a nice little spray faucet. And for those of you wondering, that backsplash is just wallpaper. Right. Power right there. Couple drawers here. And storage right there. Very nice. All right, well, it's now time for the shower test. Okay. And, uh, wait, 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 before you open it, did you see it? No. I think it's gonna fail. Okay. It, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Right, there's just, so. well, there's just too much. Yeah. There's too much in too it. Too much good already. Yeah, exactly. Now, I, what I will say is I like that little, I was surprised to see that much storage in here. Yeah, for, for towels linens and everything. And, yeah, come on. Come on, man. Get that shower open. All right. Get that shower open. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a radius shower. It's it is what pack. it is. Uh, the head height isn't that good. So, it wouldn't pass anyways. Here's what I'm gonna say, Will. I don't even hate that, because again, in this unit, you're going with a big family, right? Yeah, you're the water heater's never gonna keep you're up. You're using the bathhouse using anyway. The bathhouse, yeah. It is what it is. Nice, uh, solid surface in the sink area. Here's what I will say, they did give you a porcelain toilet. Okay. But man, I'm hugging against the wall. Yeah. At least it's porcelain, and it's definitely doable for pooable. Not a prime pooping position, but again, guys, um, you, you're using the bathhouse. And let me yeah. tell you guys something. We've been in Texas all week. I've been freeloading off Will and Jen sleeping on their sofa. And I don't like using their bathroom. Um, it's their bathroom. And trust me, guys, I, I destroy bathrooms. So I always use the bathhouse, which isn't motivation for you guys to use the bathhouse. But what I'm trying to say is they're super clean, super nice. Um, and we went to one rough campground. I'm not even going to say the name. Like, it was a pretty crappy campground. Yeah. I walked into the bathhouse, and it was beautiful. Okay. So, you know, especially if you have a lot of people, that little water heater is not going to keep the water good for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. Amazing, man. Amazing, amazing how they were able to get all of this into this travel trail. Like, yes. Nice bed above here. Okay, little Vanna white light. Storage right there for the children. Okay. Storage right here for the children. For the children of the world. <laughs> TV right there. Yeah. And look at this. You got the sofa. It comes out and makes a bed. What the heck's going on here? A little storage underneath. Yeah, a little storage action. Okay. I like that better than that last year. I do did. too, yeah. You can sit here, watch TV, play video games or whatever. And then when you do need more sleeping space, you just give a little bit like this, give a little bit like that, 
drop it down look well more sleeping space that's all right i mean you cannot beat this and there's a door to shut the kids up back here there's a door to shut the parents room off i mean this is almost a perfect higher end luxury trust me all higher end wait for the price y'all yeah but it's almost a perfect higher end luxury travel trailer it's crazy i've never seen anything like it and i love it well, well, people are dying to know what that MSRP is, and we will let you know. But first, we got to give everybody three things we love about this trailer and three things we just don't like about it, Will. What do we do first? Three things we dislike? Or you want to do likes first? No, we can do dislikes, because we okay. did likes first on the other two. I got two. Ooh, talk to me. Okay. Outside, though. Oh, talk to me. Let's go. Here we go now. Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. I got number one. Okay. The TV placement. Okay, yeah, that's... Turning your head sideways always sucks. And combo that with the carpet, too, under the dinette and everything. Combo that with the theater seats, where, again, y'all, yeah. you know, it should have been just a regular three-seater sofa. That would have been better. That is number one. Will, number two? Number two is when you have to wash the dryer in here for the lack of storage. You lose that, and there is nothing on this side, right? This is just the controls. Yep. Yep. Um, so all you have is this. Okay. Very limiting. Well, I'm going to combo that. Okay. So having that washer dryer means you get no storage, but also having this front slide out and that washer dryer there is going to give you incredibly heavy tongue weight, y'all. Yep. I agree. Make sure you get the highest duty weight distribution bars and do not tow this with half ton towable. Make sure you have a three quarter ton or a one ton. That's right. So that's number two. And then Will, what's number three? So number three is gonna be these dump stations. And more specifically, what I really dislike about it is the fact that they have two dump stations mm. and you can't um, you can't easily access them. So when that one fills up and, and you know, you need to take the sewer hose off this one to put it on that one, it's just, it, it's gonna be very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, it, I understand, you know, it's going to be hard to access them anyways, but I think they should have joined them together to make one dump station. I agree. And the reason why the dump station sucks is... The reason why the dump station sucks is for the first reason why I love this unit. Will? Yeah. One, two, three huge slide outs. Yep. These huge slide outs are giving you incredible living space. But again, making it a pain in the butt to dump. But once you're inside, once you dumped your dump, you are A-OK -okay with these three huge slide outs. Will, that is the first thing that I absolutely love about this travel trailer. OK. Love number two. OK, for me, it's definitely going to be this washer and dryer. Yes, yeah, stackable. stackable washer and dryer. Yes. And look, this is, this is a, a family hauler, right? There's going to be tons of laundry. And this will probably never be able to keep up with all the laundry. Um, Not with these little rug rats. <laughs> but the nice thing is, is it's good to get you by. When you're in, you can throw stuff in. But when you have those big loads, you can still go to the bathhouse or yeah. whatever and, and do laundry. Yeah, so. I love it. Number three, Will, or what I really should have said with combo number one, is the fact that there is a slide out in the bunk room, which is for the paying customer. So I love yeah. that. And then the final, like Will, is this huge outside kitchen. Yes. To get the front slide out, to get the rear bunk slide out, to get the stackable washer dryers, to get the three slide outs, to get everything and still get a full size outside kitchen with a little grill that goes on the back. I absolutely love that. Well, let's go on the inside. It's okay. a little windy here. It is. In Texas, Lone Star State. That's right. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Hold on, America. It ain't gonna be cheap. Everything's bigger in Texas, including <laughs> the MSRP. No, this is very nice, y'all. MSRP on this unit is $72,896.65. Will, that is MSRP. Okay. And yes, that is for a travel trailer, which is extreme. Uh -huh. But again, guys, sale price isn't going to be that, and it is what it is with this travel trailer. This is an ultimate travel trailer, a crazy bunkhouse travel trailer, and I've never seen anything like it, and I absolutely love it. But, well, that's it. That's the review. Again, guys, remember, we're partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So if you like this travel trailer or any travel trailer, all you got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. 
we're here to help get you guys a great price, great service, and the best buying experience of an RV in the entire industry. Will, what would you like to say? Yeah, guys, this is such a great family's um, travel trailer. And again, not everybody wants that bigger fifth wheel. Um, so this is a great option for that. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for yeah, watching. And you. Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.